What's up YouTube, it's Louis here. Hope you're all well. We're looking at HBAR today on the four hour time frame. I just want to say that what I've noticed of HBAR very recently, since back the, at the beginning of March, actually you can see even before, since the beginning of February, all it's done is fake out after fake out after fake out after fake out. It's so hard to find the actual supports, but that's what I'm here to try and do for you. And this green box right here is the true support, but you can see, you came down here, you came down here, you came up there, you came down here. You. This is the true resistance here. You're above it, you went below, you're above it, 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 went below. This is horrible. Wherever you get markets like this, you just want to stay away, you don't want to trade. And that's why it's so annoying, guys, because yesterday we actually closed above this pink line, validating this bullish case. You put a higher low, higher than this low, you had a higher high, then you had a higher low, and you broke out above all the EMAs as well as the resistance here. And it was just like, no, fake out. And the same thing happened right here. We put in a trade and it got invalidated on HBAR. I think it was the beginning of the week. Yeah, uh, last week, sorry. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So just stay away from the market. Let Bitcoin decide because Bitcoin's ranging. This means gonna, this is going to range even more. Every breakout has just become a fake out, as you can see. And then you broke out again and then fake out again. It is ridiculous. I hate markets like these. But again, what I would like to say is if we can close above this, let's, let's be even less risky. If we can close above that wick right now with the 4H candle close. So let's do something like this. Close above this green box. And then we should head back to this high over here and we should go to 21.7, maybe even 22 cent. But that's only if we can get a 4H candle close above 21.2 cent. Otherwise, we should actually come back to the bottom of the range. Because if this is a range bound market, you're just going up, down, up, down. I'm not personally trading at this moment. I'm, I haven't traded. I didn't even trade last week either. But I obviously I'm putting in the chat some trade ideas. But at the moment... For me, I know what I want to do and I don't want to trade in these moments. But there's, of course, people all the times like they just want to get rich tomorrow. <laughs> and that's not going to happen. People think they have they have to trade every single day. They have to over leverage their account. That's how you go bust your account. If you're coming into this market to get rich, you're going to lose all your money. You're not you shouldn't come into this market to get rich. Of course, everyone wants to get rich. But the main purpose of coming into this market is to master trading itself. And if you're not coming to do that, you're going to lose. You've already lost. I don't care if you haven't lost the money yet. If you're coming in for the wrong reasons, you've already lost. You're already, um, yeah, yeah, literally, you've already got weaknesses to your strategy. It's all about protecting your money at all costs. And how do you do that? Trade less. If you trade less, you will lose less. If you trade more, you will lose more. Every single trade you get into, you are willing to lose. So you need to realize you're not just setting a stop loss for no reason. Your stop loss is the money you're willing to lose. So that's why you can't go into every trade 20x in your account. There's going to be certain moments where you can, like we have in the chat, but that's because the moves are so small, like maybe on the 15 minute time frame. But if you're going for big percentage swings, you don't need leverage whatsoever. And this is how you go and bust your account. Say we're going for a 5% move or let's say a 15% move, 10 to 15% uh, take profit target. And our stop loss, we want it to be 5%. So we are going into this trade, risking 5% of our trading account going for 10 to 15 percent profit so a two to or a three to one risk to reward i'm trying to gain either two or three times my risk of five percent so i'm going for 10 to 15. now i want to risk five percent in my trade and let's say my stop loss is five percent then you don't need leverage you don't need leverage if you put any leverage on your stop loss already being five percent you're going to lose you're going to lose a shit ton of your money and the reason is let's say you put 10x leverage and you have a 5% stop loss. You're going to lose 50% of your account in one bloody trade if it goes wrong. And this is why you need to realize that you don't always have to leverage. You don't need to trade every day. You need to trade less. And when you trade less, you make more. And that's what I've realized over these last three years. Because I'm not talking down to you guys. I'm talking out of experience. I'm talking because I did exactly what a lot of you are doing. I try to pay for signals. I try to do master account management. I try to cheat my way to the top. I try to over leverage trades. I was putting, let's say, 5% risk in this one, 20% risk in this one, 25% risk in this one, 
10% risk in this one. It's not consistent. You need to stay consistent. You need to have two values that you want to do in every trade. So I'm going to stick with 5% every trade I'm getting into. I'm putting 5% risk. However, if let's say I go on a win streak, then maybe I can up my risk to 10%, but not permanently just because I'm on a good win streak. Then you start losing. Okay. Okay. Go back to just risking 5%. And let's say the stop loss is 2.5% stop loss. That's when you can put 2x leverage because 2.5 times 2 is 5. And let's say it was 2.5 and you wanted to put 10% risk. Then I can go ahead and put 4x leverage, but no more because we want a maximum risk 10% in each trade. You don't want to do more than that. Otherwise, you're over leveraging your account. You're not protecting your capital. You're not thinking like a business and overall you will fail. And so that's why in these periods where we're just ranging, you need to be patient. You think a businessman that's got millions and millions and millions is going to try and trade every single bloody move that the chart makes. It doesn't matter. The crypto market is open 24 seven. Do you think you're going to catch every move? No. So if you just get that in your head, then you're going to be successful. You just need to change your mentality with this. It's going to take a long time to get to where you want to be. You need to have a long term mentality as like, I don't care if I'm not making money for five years, as long as in the fifth year, I'm changing my life. Good. That's all you need to do. You don't need to get rich in the fifth year. You just need to be able to change your life. And it only takes one year. But I'm telling you guys, it won't happen within one year of you trading. It's going to take multiple years because the first year, you're going to make these mistakes. You're going to realize what you're doing is wrong. And then in the second year, you're going to try and stop that. But you're still going to make the mistakes. And then in the third year, you keep uh, eliminating all these mistakes, all these idiocy moves that you guys keep making. And then eventually you become that trader you always wanted. But it all requires time, discipline and consistency. That means doing it every day. That does not mean trading every day. That just means looking at the chart and turning up every single day and noticing what's happening in the market and knowing when to trade and when not to trade. Right now, when the market is messy, do not bloody trade. OK, and I know everyone's impatient right now because it is sideways. But just don't bloody trade because you could see you broke support, you got back above it. You broke support, you got back above it. When you break support, it should be resistance. Resistance. you should go lower to the next support down here and it's not doing that and the same with when you're breaking this resistance you should you should go to the previous support and you're not doing that so <laughs> when you notice that don't bloody trade get clear you need clear structure we need clear structure and we're not getting that whatsoever at the moment sorry guys for ranting but i wanted to teach you guys a lot this is the sort of stuff that i'm teaching in my mentorship to change people's mentality this is also in my course so if you're interested in those obviously like the video subscribe but head over to my twitter louis underscore crypto go to the pinned post and say louis i'm ready and i will see if you are really the type of person that i want to be teaching because i don't want to waste my time with someone that's not motivated not disciplined at all so if you have the uh, good starting capital and you're disciplined and you know that you're ready for me to help you take your trading to the next level then go ahead and message me on my twitter and i'll be more than happy to see if you uh if you literally qualify for for the for the packages thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you in the next one and as always peace so guys these are my crypto packages let's bring you over to the one-on-one -on -one mentorship where it's 650 pounds one-off payment you will get video call lessons with me over a one month period we will do one or two hour lessons every single day and you don't need any prior knowledge whatsoever you can have zero you can already be an advanced or intermediate trader my job here is to 10x your learning curve everything that i'm teaching you has taken me over three years to gather and cost me over ten thousand pounds whether that was good courses bad courses mistakes scams or whatever it was it cost me over ten thousand pounds to get all this information that i'm personally teaching you i also had to pay for my mentor over two thousand dollars for a two hour lesson so what you're getting for this price is absolutely phenomenal now you also get the six hour crypto course included in this price as well as the signals chat until the top of the bull market now let's move over to the signals chat i wouldn't call it signals this is just basically a group where i post what i'm personally doing my thoughts on the market if i think it's going up or down so there's daily chart updates but also yeah throughout the day what I'm thinking or where I'm buying, where I'm selling, where I'm looking to accumulate or obviously get out the market. This is what's in the crypto chat and that's £25 for your first month and £40 onwards. Then we can move over to the six hour crypto course. There are over 35 plus videos in this 
you don't need any prior knowledge to start you can be beginner intermediate or advanced level trader my job here is to 10x your learning curve to make you into that self-sufficient trader to make you into a trader that doesn't need outsiders help not my help not any youtubers help or any crappy <laughs> group chat so if you're interested in this, you also do get a one-on-one -on -one mentorship lesson with me at the end of the course so you can get any questions answered so you're clear and you know exactly what to do going forward. If you're interested in any of these packages, then please go to my Twitter at Louis underscore crypto and literally comment down below and just say, Louis, I'm interested and I'll personally private message you to see if you qualify for any of these packages. Thank you guys for listening, watching the video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll catch you in the next one.